The Digital Photography Cafe show is brought to you by Focus Pyramid, the autofocus lens calibration tool for your camera. Welcome to the Digital Photography Cafe show. Join host Trevor Curran and Joseph Christina as they serve up the hottest photography news and commentary. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. This is episode 240. I'm Joseph Christina here with my co-host Trevor Curran. How's it going, Trev? It's going great. How are you doing? I am doing well. I have my tea. I've been a little bit kind of, uh, I don't know, down the mouth a little bit. <laughs> under the weather, so to speak. Yeah, a little under the weather. It's going around. Mm. I, just, I just got over it with uh, several days of antibiotic. Oh my God. I know. It's the kids. They go to school and if, you know, any of you guys are listening that have kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yep. You just, you're just waiting for the, you know, to shoe to drop. They come back, sniff the nose, and you're like, all right, so how many days do I have until I get this? <laughs> and that's basically Yeah, it, it worked out to be about yeah. three or four days for me, and then, oh, then, wow. I, then I got it. So, yeah, yeah One, wonderful time of the year. Oh, I know, I know, I know. But anyways, let's get right into it. Um, this last week was really interesting. Canon came out with a bunch of cameras, as yeah. they do, which is Kind of nice. Um, you know, we'll kind of get into them a little bit. The 77D looks interesting, right? Yeah, yeah. They kind of snuck the, this announcement in. There really wasn't much rumbling out there about, you know, their their new uh, camera announcement. And they kind of just slipped it in under the radar here. Right. Normally, we hear a lot of buzz building up to it, especially when they're, you know, getting ready to announce a real game-changing camera. You know, one of the pro-level cameras or right. something like that. And so right. this uh, three cameras that they announced, we have the 77D, the T7i, and the new M6. So the 77D is kind of um, part of this brand new series that they're creating, but it's kind of, I guess, in theory, replacing the T6S. You know, it's the successor there. Right. And, uh, you know, the usual 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS that they're using now in all their cameras. Right. Uh, dual pixel CMOS autofocus, Digic 7 processor, you know, 45 points of cross type AF, six frames per shooting, uh, six right. frames per second. So, you know, we're kind of in lines with a lot of what they've been doing over the last several months to a year. Um, just kind of more of the same in a different configuration. Yeah, I find it interesting. Exactly what you're saying is more of, that, that's what I find interesting, is more of the same. Yeah. Um, it's really is more the same. Out of the three camera guys, out of the three cameras, one of them is mirrorless and the other two um, still have a flapping mirror in there. Yeah, the DSLR. Uh, yeah, standard DSLR. And it's just, it's just strange to me that, you know, there's not a lot of like new stuff going on. It's kind of like no. the same old, same old. They're putting in um, the same gear into different camera bodies. It's almost like they're making, you know, they have one prototype where they're making one camera and then they say, all right, now let's go and dissect this camera and stick some over there and some over here. Yeah. It's like, for example, um, you know, we're going to talk about it later, the M6, but previous to that was the M5. They took a lot of things from the 70D and the 80D, they stuck it into this mirrorless camera, and then they went ahead and took the, you know, articulating back screen and made it flap down in front of your tripod stand. You know, just, you know, this is the stuff. I, I, I really don't know. But like you said, you know, the everything now has this dual pixel um, AF, which is extremely great. That's one thing right. Canon really does well is when it comes to facial um, recognition, facial tracking, um, focus tracking. It really yep. does a fine job at it. And that's why a lot of vloggers out there, a lot of YouTubers, and a lot of people that are creating content, uh, video content, are using, for example, right now, the ADD. Um, and they're really liking that camera for that, right. for that sole reason. And these cameras that we're talking about now have that exact same... Um, you know, dual pixel AF built into it, as well right. as that Digic 7. So, you know, once again, full HD on this 77D, but where is the 4K, people? Is there no. any 4K? No there 4K in these. <laughs> exactly. No, no, no 4K, no. you know. So, I mean, it does have a 3.5 millimeter mic jack. 
Thanks. So wow, that's kudos wonderful. to Canon for that. You know, it's. I mean, that's good. I mean, they're finally doing Wi-Fi and NFC and Bluetooth built into it, right. rather than making you buy the adapter, which is good. Something that I like about this camera, though, is it has a top LCD screen, um, like some of the higher end cameras have. You know, for some of your primary um, settings, which is right. nice, and you're not looking at the back of the screen or through the viewfinder. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of nice. Body only, eight ninety nine. dollars um, They have this new uh, 18 millimeter, um, 18 to 55 millimeter lens they came out with um, that comes with this in a kit for um, $1,049. And then you can get their 18 to 135 millimeter for um, like $1,500. Bucks. Right. So, so, I mean, it's in that, it's in that mid-range price level. Right, right, right. Um, then after that, you have the T7i. Now, I know right. you have one of the T lines. I think it's the T3 or T4, right? What is it? What do no, you have mine is the, the T2. Oh, the T2. Oh, my God. Yeah, so yours is really, really, really back there. Yeah. Well, now yep. we're five generations or so later, <laughs> Trevor. Um, yes. We've got a T7i. Um, and what's what what this is all about is just think about it as, you know, the plastic body compared to magnesium and whatnot. Very lightweight. Yep. Um, it does do great follow focusing. You know, it has your dual pixel AF in it. It's also 24.2 yep. megapixels. It's like they just copy paste. If you just take a look at dual yeah. pixel, dual pixel, 24 megapixel, 24 megapixel, 44, uh, 45 points of autofocus, 45 points. I mean, literally right down to six frames per second. Um, yeah. uh, you know, just it's literally. It's basically the same camera, the just same stripped camera. down a little bit more to lower the price point. Exactly. Is, a little bit is different what they body. Um, yeah. Hey, you know what? They gave us a 3.5 millimeter mic check. Yeah, again with the mic jack, that's awesome. And the very angle uh, three inch touch screen. So that is nice where the, the 77D yeah. is just a flat touch screen. This one is the very angle. So, right. I mean, advantage to that. I mean, again, you know, maybe looking at it from a vlogger standpoint, being right. able to flip the screen around and look at it. Um, you know, that's kind of nice. I mean, it's got the Wi-Fi, NFC, and Bluetooth, um, basically the same as the 77D. <laughs> um, it's literally the, difference the same. Is the, the difference is the price. So now with the body only, we're at 749. With the 18 to 55 millimeter lens, same lens, we're at 899. And with the 18 to 35, we're at 1299. Yeah. So, you know, there's about a $200 uh, price difference. Yeah. So if you were a vlogger, I would say this, the T7i is a really nice option because you do have that sure. articulating back panel, which you don't have um, with the 77D. Um, and you're getting basically everything else and you're getting a lighter weight camera. So it's going to be easier right. for you to hold out in front of you and not get extremely tired. Um, so, yeah, right. I mean, it's definitely a possibility to, let's call it a lower cost ADD, um, you know, sure. which a lot of people, you know, a lot of uh, big YouTubers, you know, they've went, they started out using um, your camera, you know, using that uh, T, you know, 4i, yeah, the T5i Rebel. Rebels. And then they moved on yep. to the ADDs and whatnot after the fact. But, you know, I mean, all well, in all, back when, it's a good camera. Yeah. I mean, back when my T2 came out, um, it basically had a lot of the same internals as the 7D. Right. And that's when the 7D was shooting full HD video, and that was like one of the hot things. And it was significantly less expensive than the 7D. I right. mean, it does not have the same build quality. It is a plastic body as opposed to the magnesium body. Right. So, I mean, there's a lot of... of physical differences a lot of you know uh, pro grade let's say or semi pro grade yeah. differences but i bought it mainly for shooting video um that was kind of the the point of that purchase i was i had planned on doing all this stuff and you know whatever it's, yeah. and then i started doing the video editing and saw how much time <laughs> yes. and and um energy it took to edit full hd on an old mac pro tower and i'm like yeah this is gonna be yeah an you fell in <laughs> you fell into my world and you're like yeah no 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 no, i don't, yeah, don't want to yeah, do no. any of that stuff that's just way too kind consuming you know so anyways moving forward um canon came out with like i said one of the three was a mirrorless camera and that is right. the successor to the canon m5 now the m5 i did a video on you know months back and i basically trashed it because it just it did it, it did so many things right but then it just 
broke by just having that articulating back panel just fall down yeah. you know, in front yeah. of it. So yeah, you couldn't yeah. see it. You have a you know a pole in the way. You would have to actually offset it with like a rig to be able to use it properly. It just did some right. things that just didn't make sense. Well, now, a week later, you know, or a week now since it's came out, the Canon M6, they actually fixed it, guys. Now we have an articulating back panel that goes up. And what they yeah. did was is they removed the EVF. So no more yep. electronic viewfinder at the top. They replaced it with this, you know, you have a beautiful screen on the back, but now you have that great monitoring device, that articulating back panel where you can see yourself while you're recording yeah. yourself. That is absolutely exceptional. And I do think that this camera, specifically the Canon M6, will be that next vlogging camera. If people want to use a lightweight camera like they used to use, for example, um, uh, let's see, the GX7 or something like that was smaller, sure. um, this I think would replace that GX7. Now, the price is the problem, right? This, in my personal yeah. opinion. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it's not cheap. You know, the, I mean, just even that, that electronic viewfinder. So you can buy and, you know, like a, a an external and click, clip in that hot shoe, but it's like 200 bucks. Right. No, absolutely. So now you're, now you're kind of at the same price level as the, the M5. Right. Um, right. You know, so I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I really, I like the camera from a vlogging standpoint. Um, I do like the, the compact size. Um, is it the camera I would want to throw in my pocket? Well, I mean, with the interchangeable lens, now it makes it a little bit bulkier. So it's not necessarily the camera you're putting in your pocket. Right. It's the camera you're putting in a small bag, right. you know, in your man in your man bag. And, you know, I mean, so from that standpoint, it's fine. I, I personally think it's a, it's a, um, just a good studio camera yeah, so, for doing I mean, the looking at the specs, right, Trev? I mean, you're sitting with the exact same set, 24.2 megapixels, the same sensor, Digic 7, identical. Yep. You know, dual yep. pixel AF, identical. Instead of 45 points, like with the previous two cameras, it's got 49 points, big deal. Now, the other two cameras shot, um, I think it was like six frames per second we were talking about. This will shoot at up to nine frames per second. Obviously, you don't have a clacker in there, you know? You don't got a yep. mirror, just yep. no know, mirror no shutter away. jamming around in there. So, um, you know, so I mean, as far as the specs go, it looks good. It does full HD up to 60 frames per second is what we want. We don't want something that does 30 anymore. Sure. Vloggers, they want 60 because it just looks cleaner. Um, the it thing was, once again, like we said, they're falling behind the eight ball with no 4K. So you're, you're coming out yeah. with this brand new mirrorless camera. They have this brand new mirrorless camera, no 4K, yep. and it's still APS-C. You got Sony that's sitting there with a full frame, you know, mirrorless for the last two years. You have them yep. sitting with 4K. You're looking at, you know, Panasonic at 4K, now 6K. They're going to be at 8K in a minute, <laughs> you know, and Canon is yeah. still sitting there at, you know, the standard 1080p. Now, the price on this is $799. Um, and you know, it's, uh, I, I think it was like nine ninety nine um, if you got it with the lens or, or whatnot. So figure on a thousand bucks with the kit, with the kit, um, a thousand bucks. So, you know, is it cheap? It's not cheap. I think that the price definitely is an issue with this camera. I think, like I said, this is a replacement you know, for that, uh, you know, TX7 or whatever it is, you know, that the older, I mean, the GX7 from long time ago, I think that's a replacement for it. Right. And I think it should be priced accordingly. I think this camera, the Canon M6, should be around 550 That's my personal opinion. I think 799 yeah. is just too high for what they're giving you. Now, if this thing had 4K built into it, I'd say, well, 799 is probably a good price. But being that it's only shooting, sure. you know, 1080p, my personal opinion is it's just it just doesn't make a lot of sense i think it's overpriced by a couple hundred dollars yeah i mean you know there are some older cameras even the camera that you're using to shoot your video right now right. um it does a great job you know it's 1080 and it's significantly less money i mean granted you don't have the interchangeable lens capability so there is something to be said for that right. But, you know, for, you know, my opinion, I mean, looking at it from a vlogging standpoint, I mean, once you find the lens that's going to fit your needs, 
probably don't really need a whole bunch of lenses. You know, yeah. I mean, it's it's what lens is going to frame you properly with the right depth of field for the distance that you can put it away from you when you're vlogging. I mean, whether that's arm's length or whether that's on a tripod on the other side of the room, you know. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Well, guys, we have a little bit more for you on the back side of this break. Hang in there. We'll be right back. It's no secret, there's never enough time, especially when it comes to editing our photos. Whether you're a pro and time is money or have just fallen in love with photography, imagine how much better it would be if your edits were done sooner so you can get back where you belong, behind your camera. Make that dream a reality with Aftershot Pro 3 from Corel, the world's fastest way to sort, select, and perfect your photos. How fast? Try up to four times faster than Lightroom. Aftershot works to fit your workflow by adding new cameras over the web so you only get what you need. No bloat from unneeded profiles. Create your own plugins, add custom lens corrections, plus find all kinds of presets right in app. For just 79 bucks with no subscription, you can't go wrong. Don't sit on the fence, try it out. Visit aftershotpro.com forward slash DPC to get your free 30-day trial for Windows, Mac, or Linux and try before you buy. All right, we are back and we have some exciting news. As you know, on the last show, we announced our big WPPI 2017 celebration giveaway and that was fantastic. It ran for eight days. We had a just over 6,000 entries, um, which was really That's huge. Everybody entering to win, you know, over $3,500 in photo and tech gear. Everybody was able to get a copy of Aftershot 3 from Corel and also um, several Lightroom presets from you, uh, which is awesome just for entering. And, uh, you know, we had a really good list of prizes this time, too. Yeah, yeah, a lot of I mean a lot of great names too, you know, a lot of big companies decided to step up and to um, you know, throw in some of their, you know, great uh, products into the mix here. So I mean, you had 17 hats came aboard with their one year subscription, their ultimate plan, which was really great. You had Alien Skins with um, Exposure X2. You had Bay Photo um, with one of their great ex um, expo display kits, which is really cool. I yeah. mean, there was a lot of good stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Corel was there with their Aftershot Pro 3, Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate, Paint Shop Pro X9 Ultimate and Particle Shop, so their whole suite of software. Uh, Data yeah. Color had their Spider 5 Elite. Drobo had their 5C, uh, that's a f uh, four bay um, attached storage device. Um, Joe had contributed the uh, Focus Pyramid, the PRT, and the PRT Mini. Uh, yeah. Low Pros Photo Stream RL150 bag. It's a nice roller bag that'll fit in the overhead compartment on the, on the plane. On one photo raw, Tamron came aboard this time around and um, they donated the SP 45 millimeter F 1.8 DI VC USD lens. Um, mm -hmm. And that would be for either Canon, Nikon or Sony mounts and tether tools with their rapid mount light and action kit, all totaling yeah. over $3,500. Yeah, so all of the stuff was loaded onto, you know, uh, USPS, yeah. truck, uh, FedEx, uh, UPS, uh, DHL, um, yep. and sent out to a really nice guy in New York. Um, and his name was Anthony Werner. So That's congratulations right. to Anthony. Um, he won this big, massive prize. <laughs> you know, we were getting, you know, close to, what was it, $3,500 and change worth yep. of um, yep. photo and tech gear. So congratulations. That was really, really great. And like you said, 6,000 of you guys, you know, participated. We really, really appreciate you all. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. And, you know, what's, what's exciting, though, if you think about all all the entries and all the freebies alone that that we are giving away and right. i mean just just software alone we're giving away over forty thousand dollars worth of software 
for free. Yeah. I mean, that's not a little bit. That's a lot. And, you <laughs> yeah, know, that's why yeah. we're, we're, we're really excited to be able to do this for you guys and for the community. And, you know, that's why, you know, everybody spread the word about it. And that's why we got so many entries. And it was really, really awesome turnout. So Yeah, yeah. Like, like you said, $40,000 worth of just free stuff that we gave away just for people just entering. Yeah. We have to give a, a special shout out and a special thank you uh, to Corel for yeah, providing for that sure. software. Just, you know, that was just unbelievable. So many units of that software was sent out. Um, it's just unbelievable. So once yes. again, thank you, Corel, um, for coming aboard. We really do appreciate you. And of course, like I said, we appreciate all you guys, all the listeners, yep. as well as viewers. Um, for whenever we have these giveaways, you get in there and you register to win right away and you know you take us up on all of those multiple ways to continue to get more um, registrations in there there's always other different ways that you can go about getting more registrations you know more um, let's say little ticks on your card (laughs) on how many times that you can really get in there and possibly win so you know some people we know they've registered, you know, 10, 20, 30 times. You yeah. Know? And, um, you know, it just it's just really, really great. We do appreciate all of your support and all of those retweets and um, all of those likes and, you know, and sharing with the photo community on Facebook and everywhere. Uh, it's just really was wonderful once again. And we've been doing these for years now, but it seems like every single time we do one, it just keeps getting better and better and better. There's more community yep. interaction. Action. Um, people just come out, you know, by the droves and just yeah. say how much they appreciate it. You know, um, it's just really great. It feels really good to be able to give, you know, one person all of this tech gear. And that's one of the reasons why we did that, Trev. Instead yeah. of going and, let's say, um, diluting the prize and giving it to, let's say, an assortment of 10, 15 people, right. we give this one massive prize to one person. So it just, I think it works out really good so that where one person really gets a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yep, so good stuff. Um, stay tuned. We'll see yeah. uh, wh- when we uh, run our next one. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. More great stuff to come for sure, as always. So right. anyways, we need to get out, right, Trev? Yes, we do. So if our viewers and listeners want to connect with you outside of the show, what's the best way for them to reach you? Yeah, you guys can find me on Twitter and that's at Joseph Christina and that's Christina with no H. And don't forget to find me over on YouTube also. Find my YouTube channel for my vlog over at youtube.com forward slash J Christina photo. Excellent. You can connect with me on Twitter. It's at Trevor Current or over at my website. It's currentphotographer.com. So, all right, guys, you can get all the show notes over at our website, digitalphotographycafe.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash D Photo Cafe. So that's it, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. You've been watching the Digital Photography Cafe show with Trevor Curran and Joseph Christina. Subscribe to our YouTube channel with any compatible device by visiting youtube.com forward slash Dphoto Cafe. Be sure to subscribe to our audio feed through iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, and Xbox Music apps or through RSS. Visit digitalphotographycafe.com for show notes and to connect with your hosts.